Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I'm coming by today with a tutorial on a faux malachite. And this is just going to be a typical Makumagane um, technique. And this is um, the souffle clay by Sculpey. And that's the jade color, if you can call that jade. And this is a tiny bit of the jade color mixed with some Primo White and as you can tell I didn't even mix it very thoroughly so I'm gonna start by stacking these on top of each other and rolling it through my pasta machine and my pasta machine is just set on um, kind of a middle setting I think it's on a four what it looks like all right I run it through I'm just gonna cut it in half <laughs> if you can call this cutting it in half and then I'm gonna stack them on top of each other and another thing you might have noticed is I didn't start with the two pieces the same thickness as you can see the the green is quite a bit thicker than the white and this end of the green is even thicker than the other end of the green um, the reason I did that is because malachite um, is like that the layers are not even alright so I'm just gonna stack and roll these uh, a few times and I just mean a a few times if you do it too much you'll get your layers too thin all right I only did that about two more times and then I've stacked them on top of each other again and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half again and stack it again now obviously I'm working on a really small a really small piece all right now you just want to take your ball tool if I can find it there it is um, and you can use several different sizes of ball tool to give you a convincing effect you're just gonna uh, let's start from the green side why not you're just going to poke and give it a give it an angle once in a while. All right, just something about like that. Maybe going a little closer to the edge. All right. And then you're going to squish. Trying to keep it sort of square or sort of whatever shape you started with. Alright, I've got all the holes almost closed back in. Just gonna take my acrylic block and give it a sort of squish. All right. Now, normally I wouldn't be doing this on a sheet of paper. I'd have it on a tile. But I'm going to take my blade and I'm going to cut a layer off the top. And I'm going to actually give it a sawing type motion so that it doesn't distort the piece as much. Alright. There you go. You can see 
it just automatically gives you that look. Alright. There we go. You've got a faux malachite. Now, because of the angles that we gave the holes that we punched, and because I'm slicing basically level through the piece, that's why we're getting wider bands of the colors, of the white and of the green. If I went through at more of an angle, um, it would give us different looks. Alright. Now, of course, once you bake this, the white, will, it won't really disappear, but it'll, it'll become darker. And it will give you a little bit more of a convincing look. This is, um, this is a technique I did years and years ago before I was even on the internet. And uh, I did a few um, pieces of jewelry using this technique. Alright, this one's going to wind up being a scarab, I think. Alright. So, I hope that was helpful to all of you that wanted to know. I shall holler at y'all later. Bye now.